Earth-based weather this week continues to be active. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we have no less than 10 active regions in Earth view. Now the big X flare player, that was region 3213, has finally rotated off of the sun's west limb, but we still have a ton of activity. In fact, back on the 12th, regions 3216 and 17 fired off some solar storms that went mainly east of Earth, but they did manage to graze us right on Valentine's Day and they brought some gorgeous aurora. We're still kind of dealing with it now and seeing some gorgeous shows, especially at high latitudes and even down into mid latitudes a little bit. But aurora photographers, if you didn't catch the show on Valentine's Day, don't worry, we have yet another solar storm because right around the 15th, region 3220 launched a solar storm that's earth directed and along with another filament eruption, these both uh, storms are headed kind of back to back towards earth. Uh, NASA models and NOAA models show that we could have impact as early as midday on the 17th or possibly into the 18th. So this should be an extended show. It could definitely bring Aurora down to mid latitudes so aurora photographers, keep your batteries charged and get ready. Now, as we take a look at the sun's far side, this is stereo A and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see region 3213 rotating off of the sun's west limb in stereo's view, but really I want you to focus your eyes on the east limb because there's still some active regions, especially in the north, that are solar storm producers and likely big flare players that have yet to rotate into earth view. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you know what, we're gonna keep that solar flux ramped up and we're gonna keep radio blackouts on the menu because it looks like we've got more activity that's gonna rotate into Earth view over the next few days. For more details on this week's space weather, including how that Earth-directed solar storm could affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.